Rome, 1960. For champions, the ultimate challenge is always the same, to be the best. Wilma Rudolph set new records in the 100-meter dash, 200-meter dash, and won the 400-meter relay. In setting this pace, she became the first American woman to win three gold medals in Olympic track and field competition. Her triumph was called a miracle. I grew up a lot different from most kids. I grew up with a series of childhood illnesses. Uh, the beginning for me was scarlet fever, um, uh, pneumonia, and the end result was polio. And I wore braces until I was nine years old. Uh, I think the most difficult moments growing up was being teased by my peers and uh, not being accepted to play and do all the things that one wants to do growing up. At 16, she ran in the 1956 Olympics at Melbourne, Australia. She returned home with a bronze medal for her effort in the 400-meter relay. At home, her incredible speed brought her something worth more than gold, a scholarship. In the back of my mind, I always tried to work toward uh, education. Uh, coming from this very large family and knowing that uh, out of 22 brothers and sisters that I was the first child to have a chance to go to school. And uh, the grandest aspect was that I could trade off my athletic ability for the scholarship. And that was how I thought of it. Wilma Rudolph's dream is to become the most famous woman runner in the world. In 1960, her moment arrives. Her stage, Rome, the Olympic Games. My coach at Temple at Tennessee State that I had been with since I was 13 years old was named the United States coach for the women's track and field team. So of course we rejoiced because it's not very often that you have a chance to have your coach with you. That is something that is so very rare and so very special. And he would always stay with me until the very moment that I had to go through the tunnel to get into the stadium. And then he would run to this one special seat and by the time I came underneath the tunnel into the stadium, I could look and see him. And that was all I needed. I think every sprinter that goes to that starting line, that moment is afraid of losing. That is always there. But the fear that is in the pit of the stomach, it is more of a nervous reaction than anything else. If it is not there for me, that is the day that I might as well not run because there's no adrenaline. When it's there, I know that I'm on target, that I'm listening for that sound. And I always had the worst start in the history of any sprinter because of my size. And I was the tallest sprinter that ever came through the United States. And my first 30 to 45 yards, I was never in the race. So I was always happy they didn't have 30 and 40 yard races. <laughs> but. Um, the farther I ran, the faster I became. And I could always accelerate in the end. And that was the key to the successes of Wilma Rudolph. Never the start. In winning three gold medals, Wilma finally realizes her dream. Now, she must find new motivation to win. It was Palo Alto, California, Stanford University, Russia versus the United States. I was running well but the heart wasn't there anymore. I mean, what do you do when you win all of it? To keep yourself motivated, you have to be a little bit hungry to be there and stay there and to stay on top. And this particular day, we were running a relay. We were behind when we started off. And you always think on a stagger start, and you know on a stagger start that, okay, she's gonna catch her in the turn, and by the time the baton is passed, we're gonna be even. That didn't happen. And then when they pass it the next time, I said, well, by the time they get to the next person, we will be even or we will be one step ahead. It didn't happen. And by the time it got to me, I saw that we were behind. And I made myself a, a promise that day. I said, if, if you catch the Russian, it's history to retire. If you do not catch the Russian, you will have to run another four years for the Olympics in Tokyo, Japan. I caught the Russian. <laughs> I retired, it became history. It was the fastest single race that I'd ever ran in the history of my career. And uh, to get a standing ovation in my own country, outdoors, which I'd never had before, I think was the grandest moment in my career. I retired that day and I have never regretted.
this woman had an amazing life. Very well done. Let me know in the comments what is it that you think about this lady. Let's have a discussion.